What is going on, everybody? Matta222 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today, we are looking at the Transformers Titans Return Beachcomber figure. As always, guys, before we look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, pretty cool shot of Beachcomber right back there. Got the Generations logo, Transformers on the side, Beachcomber right there, tiny writing on the bottom, and on the back, a very brief bio right there. Shot of Beachcomber and his alt mode. Alt mode looks pretty cool. Some Prime stuff and some more writing and stuff. Barcode, Generations logo. So with the packaging out of the way, let me take a quick second. Literally a quick second. Let me get this guy free and that way we can take a closer look. Okay, and looking at Beachcomber out of the package. <clears throat> he looks cool. I like, I like this little guy. Um, so starters, head sculpt, pretty unoriginal. Any head sculpt that just kind of has like the visor, I feel like I've seen it before, so not really original. Some stickers on the chest look all right. And despite kind of being separated, you can kind of make out the Autobot logo down below. So I, I guess that's what it is back looks okay not really a backpack of any and not a not a huge backpack not hugely noticeable and it uh, the way it works with the jeep it so it does kind of look cool so uh, i'm okay with that articulation the head moves side to side you don't really get a forward and back arm moves up to here this far forward this far out bend in the elbow Hands are pretty much tucked away, so you're not going to get any movement out of them. Same, not nothing in the waist, but you get a you, you get a pretty solid bend in the knee, of course, for the transformation, and that does rotate. Nothing on the feet, so yeah. Uh, now that we kind of got his robot mode, why don't we go ahead and get this little guy transformed? And then look at his Jeep mode. So transformation on this guy, pretty simple. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do it. So we'll start by folding in the feet. Yes, transformation is not really complicated but again it's just kind of always a thing is just kind of getting everything to snap into place properly oh yeah so I forgot so you have to put make sure you pull out his hit the middle section you just want to kind of extend it or else you're not going to be able to fit it together and then just kind of pop all that into place. Not too bad, not too bad. And then the arms. I think the arms pretty much just get tucked in right at the side. And that's that's pretty much it there's there's vehicle mode so i don't know if uh I, I call this guy a jeep i don't know if he's a jeep he's more of like a doom buggy i don't know what the actual word name for it is but he kind of reminds me of like a doom buggy but overall I, I like it he rolls really well the design looks nice and you have the nice autobot logo displayed on the front looks good on the back so yeah, really, uh, really digging this one. You, if you wanted to, you could probably even fit a Titan Master in there, and that would look just fine. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool right there. I like this mode. But why don't we uh, go back and get this guy back into robot mode, and then I'll kind of give you guys my final thoughts. All right. So overall, uh, I like this. I like this figure. Not a lot, not a lot to him, but he has his charm. I like that the transformation is pretty fluent. 
the alt mode looks really really cool and uh that's pretty much all i got to say i wish he came with a weapon but none of these kind of legends class figures ever do come with weapons so i'm pretty much used to that right now but definitely like this guy i'll definitely recommend you pick him up but other than that that is going to be it for this video guys so thank you again for watching i hope you liked it if you did show me some love down below by hitting that subscribe button because I'm bringing you new videos almost every day and that's the best way to make sure that you don't miss anything. Please like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. Make sure you check out all my social media links. I will leave those in the description. Uh, and of course, head over guys to Facebook, check out the Sanctuary page, come join us there and check out all the Facebook action figure community groups because they're all great. And that is going to be it. Thank you again for watching, guys. Thank you for all your continued support. It means so much to me. Really appreciate that. And you guys, other, you guys have yourselves a great day. And I will catch you next time with another figure review. And bye.